Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today we are going to be doing a key opening for the new kingdom of Merlantis. So, for any of you that don't know, uh, the devs add a new kingdom to the game every few months. They actually confirmed recently as well that they are going to be doing this into the foreseeable future. There was some speculation on if they would stop given that there are only two more spots left for kingdoms, right there and right there, and they put one randomly in the ocean. But they did say recently that they are going to be expanding the map in some way, and they are going to keep uh, adding a new kingdom every few months. Yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, of course, here's Merlantis over here. You can go unlock it. It ends up gaining the stat of extra HP, which for one of the first times ever actually brings all bonuses to be uh, even once we get that other HP from having it maxed out. All stats will be even, the uh, magic and attack are half as much, mainly because they're more valuable of a stat. But yeah, that would bring all of them to be even once we get that plus one. I still don't have the five stars on it, of course, because we need the actual chest. So as far as chests themselves, um, kingdom releases are a little bit unique in that the drops from the kingdom actually are immediately available in all uh, gold, glory, gem, um, guild, and uh, VIP chests. So there's no delay with them compared to uh, some other troops that get released. So that's pretty nice. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, even though the kingdom has switched over, the event key drop table has not. As you can see, the chest rewards change in three days. Uh, this resets on the Monday reset that uh, normally occurs every single week when the event actually switches over. Do keep that in mind. Um, the Monday after every single time a kingdom gets released, uh, all of its troops will be available in the event key drop four. Actually, I should say the ultra rares are higher. In the future, all uh, uh, all of the kingdom will be available within the event key drop pool. Uh, eventually, it'll be common all the way up to their legend or mythic, whatever they happen to have. At this current moment, it's only their ultra rare up to their mythic, which in a way is kind of better, but it's a little bit hard to get to common and rare sometimes which is why i normally save up all the gold and uh glory keys but yeah do keep in mind don't actually open these keys until monday because merlantis is currently not in event keys so keep that in mind also if you're planning on spending gems like actual gems in any way shape or form to try to unlock merlantis troops it is generally best to wait until the following monday and then spend uh, event keys uh, I won't be doing that because uh, we need to show the new legend and everything. So we're just going to be opening up uh, most of the stuff now. But it will be, of course, doing whatever else hasn't been maxed out via the event keys on Monday. So I did most of my gold keys already, as you can see. I'm just doing some of them now, mainly because the rewards aren't really like too special. There's not any kind of extremely high drop that we can get. A big bulk of the rewards are surprisingly actually like right at the beginning when you get all the resources and the trait stones. Uh, of course, we're still hunting for those few troops. There is a common and uh, two rares that we can get here. That uh, is the main reason why we're even opening these to uh, begin with. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit nice getting those little bit of resources at the beginning. That's like a great majority of the value, I do have to say, uh, out of these chests. But yeah, nothing uh, too particularly interesting out of these, but we'll get into the interesting ones right after. I obviously didn't want to have to open like all 18,000 of them on this because that would take way too long. But here's just a thousand of them. Uh, everything from common to rare. Uh, no chance for any kind of really higher rarity, but every other chest will give us those uh, higher rarities. And we get about one gem every single time on average. Uh, actually, I think the actual drop rate for it is basically one gem every 100 chests on average when you're doing those gold keys. Okay, so we have glory keys and we have gem keys. Let's go start with the gem keys. Let's go put it on a nice even number. Uh, we get an arcane immediately. Uh, anything that's new will show up all the way to the left here, if I'm not mistaken, under this new format. Uh, there we go. It's the beginning of that. There's the Lamprey. Uh, deal damage to an enemy with a 30% chance to devour them if they use blue. So technically just a really hard blue counter. Uh, I don't really foresee this being used at all if you're not using it up against a blue. So we'll see how he really pans out. Uh, as far as traits, he does have stealthy and he does have indigestible. One somewhat noteworthy thing about that combination. Uh, oh, he also has Merfolk Slayer, which could come into play given how many Merfolks will be around. But uh, one interesting thing about this uh, combination is he's the only Devourer that basically has this much protection. He can't be Devoured, even though he has a Devourer. And uh, he also is stealthy, so he can't even be targeted if they happen to have a uh, AoE Devourer. Like, let's say, something like a Kraken, where it automatically hits the last slot. So yeah, he's going to be uh, pretty decent, though the only thing he's ever going to be used against is a anti-blue uh, troop and let's just go open these four. Oh, but we get another one and uh, Let's get these four down and then start doing 50s 
Okay, so let's see if we can get that new legend. Uh, should I skip these? Yeah, I should probably skip these just so it goes to the end uh, so we can see the uh, bigger drops every single time. If we get anything new, it'll show up here. Oh, we got a Draco's Cer uh, Cerberus. Uh, not really anything too decent there. A mirror. Come on, not even a single legend there. Give us drops. Uh, there we go. Uh, I was hoping that would be the legend. Is like, oh, a legend. No, no, it's not the legend. But another ultra rare. Deal damage to an enemy and a random enemy. Uh, deal double if the enemies are silenced and silence them. So another double silence for uh, 13 mana. Not too bad. Definitely need more silences. One pretty noteworthy thing about him, though, is, of course, the impervious. Anything with impervious is generally pretty good. This is also the most protective uh, troop stat-wise. Uh, or trait wise I should say that has a impervious on it so that's pretty nice also one other thing to note uh, actually two things I forgot to mention uh, for one uh, oh no I forgot I shouldn't have left yet okay there's a slight freeze after you like uh, do keys the more you open like it freezes more uh, the game has finally reached over uh, 400 troops so that's pretty cool nice milestone there uh, also it says for whatever reason I have battled in Merlantis nine hours ago this Kingdom hasn't even been available for nine hours. That's a pretty funny glitch. Also, uh, they are starting their three-year anniversary, by the way. Uh, they did end up mentioning it. They're going to be doing some giveaways and stuff. If I'm not mistaken, I actually have something in my mail that I didn't even bother because I wanted to save it for the video. Yeah, two event keys and uh, 40 gems. Don't open those event keys now. Save them for Monday. <laughs> That's really odd that they would give event keys now. That's a little bit misleading. But yeah, don't open your event keys now. Save them. Save them. Uh, right now, if you open them, you're going to get... Um... Oh, what's that kingdom? Uh, Drifting Sands. Drifting Sands drops, so don't do that unless you happen to want Drifting Sands drops. But it won't give you the new guys. Uh, well, since we just did a bunch of gold keys, let's go back to Glory a little bit. Uh, or to Glory, I should say. Uh, this does give some resources at the beginning. I highly advise not to actually spend... Hey, that's funny. Uh, we do all of the uh, the better keys, yet we get the higher rarity drop on the lower chest. Figure, Go figure. But uh, I would highly advise not actually spending the resource of Glories on Glory keys. They are better spent on the event packs every single week, but if you happen to have actual keys, then you might as well throw those. Uh, let's see. Dispel all enemies and decrease a random skill by 8. Boosted by blue gems uh, exploded. Uh, I mean, uh, explode all blue gems. <laughs> but blue, it's just boosted by blue gems, not blue gems exploded. I read that weirdly. Uh, also, uh, this thing is like better than Plague. Uh, a lot of people were mentioning that earlier. Uh, it doesn't have Impervious, which is one nice thing that Plague had. It also doesn't have anywhere near as good traits as Plague. But uh, a mana generation with 14 with a similar effect to Plague is definitely going to make it uh, quite viable. And it's only an epic, so uh, we'll see how that this thing really uh, pans out. Uh, dispel All can also be useful in occasion, though generally if you need to Dispel All, you're going to be using Wisp. Just because of how uh, ridiculously easy it is to get a Dispel All onto the enemy. Hey, another Rowan. I don't need any more of her, but she is good. Another Bonnie Rose. Other Count would love to get more of those. A good, uh, good troop. Don't actually need it, though. Come on now. Give us news. Uh, nope. Nope. Let's see. How many glories should we do? One other thing that we're doing while we're doing... Hey, Queen Mav. Nice. Really nice troop right there. Uh, too bad we don't need more of it. <laughs> but uh, one thing that we're kind of doing here, too, indirectly, even though I'm not... Hey, Queen Isabel. Uh, even though I'm not directly showing it, is we are getting the rares and ultra rare drops. Of course, we don't have any here, but uh, we will be occasionally getting the rares and ultra rares that we do already have to accumulate them to start getting them closer to uh, Mythic. Uh, of course, we're not actually getting any at the moment, but that is one of the goals that we're trying to aim for, too, by opening all these, not just trying to find the new uh, legend, which we will hunt. We will hunt it down until we get it, even if I have to go to VIP keys. Uh, we gotta get at least one. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I highly advise, um, for the most part, basically just waiting till Monday to try to get the new legend, if that is your goal. Um, I will be getting it now, because of course I want to show it for the video, the stream, and all that kind of stuff, and so you guys can see it. But uh, it is a very large amount of resources that you generally have to throw down to actually get it the uh, exact day that it throws out. It's generally best just to wait a few days for the Monday afterwards. Uh, there's a Queen Meb. A lot of good drops. Not the good drops we need, though. Uh, oh, there, well, there's another Azura. Uh, that's actually kind of nice, because it will be a little bit hard to actually get her up. Um, but, we get this Legends. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I think the hardest things to get up will actually be the common and the rares. Actually, the two rares. Hey, another Spooky Imp. I figures, I... Come on. I couldn't get any more Autumn Imps when I needed two more. And this is, like, the third Spooky Imp, I think. I know for sure I got one on my other account. I know for sure we just got one now. 
um, figures. <laughs> I need autumn imps, not spooky imps. Spooky imp is actually the worst imp in the game right now, by the way. Uh, imps run on two month schedules. Right now, the spooky imp runs from October and, um, I mean from, um, yeah, October, November. Uh, and then winter imp comes in from December to January. Oh, but there we go, another one of him. And a Christina X. Very nice if we actually needed more of him, but we don't. Uh, oh, come on, give us legends. Okay, I might need to move back to gem keys. Not being nice to me. Uh, I'm not going to open up literally every glory key I have right now, by the way. Um, I'm opening a good number of them, um, but I need to make sure I save them up a little bit until we actually see what the new event key system looks like. And depending on what the new event key system looks like, I might throw them all down eventually. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I really need to see how that ends up panning out. Ooh, Kraken. He was available last week. Most people probably already have Kraken by now, given what happened last week. I know my Let's Play account ended up getting three of them, which was very, very lucky for us, that is for sure. Hey, so many more. Uh, so many more is actually a really good entangle. Wow, 11 gems too. And another one of that little Devour guy. I think he's the only Ultra Rare. Speaking of that, there's another Azura. Well, at least we're getting some nice drops from the kingdom, but where's the legends? It's actually a really nice looking legend too. Uh, it's going to make dragon synergies even more annoying. Gloomleaf, you're so bad. Please get buffed. <laughs> Gloomleaf has been like buffed, I think, like four times. Um, it has been nerfed once, or it was buffed, buffed, nerfed, and then buffed. Um, and it needs another buff. <laughs> Gloomleaf, poor guy. Hey, an Asha. I forget if I actually needed more Asha or not. I might have already gotten it to uh, Mythic because it was a Epic. Uh, generally, Epics I get to Mythic immediately just because they give so many trait stones. Great Maul, great Devourer right there. Uh, not as great as he used to be, but still a pretty nice troop. His uh, final trait ended up getting nerfed. It used to actually Devour at 50% chance. Then it got nerfed to 10%. Then it got completely removed for a different trait. And then 5% was given to Krog the Dread instead because they didn't want two ridiculously good devourers on the same troop. Okay, we're going to have to switch over to gem keys, apparently. I don't want to have to bring out the VIP chest. Should we go bring out 50? Okay. I'm a hey, Moloch. I might need to bring out 50. Uh, again, I don't really advise using gems, um, but since <laughs> since we really need him to go show it, let's go try 50 on the VIP chest. Yeah, I'll let it go this time. And let every single drop go down. A lot of arcanes. So many arcanes. <laughs> And then a bunch of slot steals come on. The best drops will be at the end. I hate that every single drop can't be special. It's only like at the end when it's going to be like really, really big. Oh, we didn't even get any of the new epic. Boogie Imp, no! <laughs> also, nothing! Absolutely. Oh, I did need another King High Forge though. Actually, I need four more of him. So that's actually somewhat okay. But, uh, yeah, stop giving me spooky imps. <laughs> I trade you like five spooky imps for one autumn imp. Uh, yeah, nothing too good from that. Though of course we do get the gold from it too, which is pretty nice that we can go and put into the guild. Um, yeah, let's go to gem keys. Let's hope we get lucky on these. Come on, give us the legends. We can't stop till we get it. There goes a crack in Sylvania Mora. Uh, there goes a nothing. There goes, there we go. We could stop now, though I might still open some more on stream and stuff later. But there we go, Lephiathan, a uh, merfolk dragon. So now merfolks are decent, and dragons got even more strong. Um, <laughs> they're going to need a new dragon counter, I think. Uh, they keep adding too many good dragons. And a lot of dragons have full AoE. And even though they're adding a lot of submerges, which have, like, immune to AoE, essentially, um, it's they're still really good. <laughs> Not to mention, this thing has Dispel. So this might be able to dispel prior to doing the AoE, which is what I would assume. If not, that is a little bit weird. But if he does the spell beforehand, he basically just helps the entire dragon team ignore their biggest counter, which is Submerge. But uh, also, uh, blue-brown, that's actually a pretty decent color because the only thing that's particularly good under blue-brown that comes to mind generally when I think of that color is Corvash. And other than Corvash, there are very few late game options that uh, really... Well, I, and Farge Troll, I guess, but... <laughs> Farge Troll is a different category of troop. As far as, like, damaging troops, uh, bl Brown Blue uh, is normally only Corvash. Uh, there's Behemoth too, but Behemoth's more of a defensive than an offensive troop. But this thing, dispels all enemies and deal uh, damage boosted by blue gems at a 3 to 1. Uh, not the best of boost ratio, but... Uh, uh, which means it's probably not going to be as good early on in the game. 
but with how much magic in later game it seems fine but there's something really unique about it knocks the first enemy to the back of course this is something that a troop already currently does actually i think a few do but the most notable one is dust devil which can do this immediately with empowered but this is the first viable troop essentially added to the game that can be used in late game that has a movement capability to the enemy team. So we might stop seeing Scion now, basically forever, because uh, there's really no point in using a Scion against this thing. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna also make, unfortunately, like Skull Spam even worse, because generally Skull Spam runs with a really, really solid first slot, and this would completely mess that up. So indirectly, uh, another nerf to Skull Spam. It's so weak right now, Skull Spamming. Uh, or at least weaker than it has been in the past. But yeah, looks like a really nice troop. Obviously going to be using it with all dragon. Might try it with Merfolk. Uh, definitely pretty interesting. Glad we got it without burning through literally all of our resources. Probably shouldn't have even thrown the VIP just. Probably wasted a little bit there, but oh well. Uh, at least we finally got this. So again, I would not really advise trying to get this. If you have some spare keys, go try for it. But uh, the easiest time to be able to get it will be next Monday off of event keys. And this, of course, is the biggest drop that you can possibly get from the New Kingdom. Uh, very nice. Uh, is it worth actually going for? Well, on Monday, I would definitely say so. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's definitely above average, I would say. The fact that it has Dispel plus full AoE countering its main counter is good. This also would synergize pretty well with an all-dragon team, which we'll end up doing uh, during the stream and stuff uh, today and tomorrow during streams. And we'll be doing a video probably later tomorrow going over a bunch of teams for these guys. But anyways, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Best of luck when actually trying to obtain all these troops. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope you all uh, do well, and I will see you all later. We will be streaming, as I mentioned, um, every Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that includes today. So I'll see you all then. Uh, best of luck, and thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.